Since 1990, the number of cardiac deaths in India has nearly doubled from 15% to 28%. That's 2.8 million deaths every year due to cardiac diseases. Actually, the whole concept came from the fact that people in rural Goa were having a problem where in case an individual got a heart attack, then it was becoming very difficult to save his life. So then when we drew up a protocol, we thought that this facility should not be only restricted to the urban areas where people can access healthcare. But we thought that Goa is a very far-flung area. Goa is a small state, far-flung area, distances are there. So as a result of which we thought that why should a person lose his life because of a heart attack? Lack of resources, especially in rural areas, prevents timely medical intervention. And in a heart attack, timing is crucial. So one of the basic principles is that time is uh, muscle and muscle is eventually life. But in a country like that of India, door to needle time means the patient has to at least reach a hospital where diagnosis of STEMI can be made and he can be thrombolyzed. Because needle refers to thrombolysis. Door to balloon time means patient should be in a hospital which has PCI capability. Balloon means uh, a PCI. Keeping door to needle time under 30 minutes and door to balloon time under 90 minutes is the key in achieving successful cardiac treatment. But the average time for heart attack treatment in developing countries is only around 5 to 6 hours, a truly dismal figure. In December 2018, the government of Goa decided to combat this healthcare hurdle using technology. The Goa STEMI project was started to provide faster heart attack treatment and reduce mortality rates. In this project, 12 centers across Goa are provided with cloud-connected ECG machines and a mobile application called Instacare. The whole idea was to initiate the STEMI program and I'm very happy that our team of cardiologists headed by Dr. Guru Prasad Naik and the whole team put together a protocol where a person in the rural Goa also, in case he has a heart attack, the advanced life-saving system and the cardiac ambulances can take the patient from the point of contact to the primary health center and treat him with the required drug and also to ensure that this medication is given to him and he's stabilized and then taken to the point of intervention that is either our Goa Medical College that belongs to the government of Goa or any other private hospital that is listed. The STEMI project workflow consists of five steps. Getting fast ECG diagnosis is crucial and for the first time this has become possible to deploy across vast areas with the help of cloud technology. As a result, the door to needle time can be reduced significantly for the patients who show up at the periphery centers. Using the TRICOG Instacare app, a new patient case is created and the ECG report along with vital stats are shared with the cardiology team at the main center, in this case, the Goa Medical College. Real-time communication enables clinicians at these periphery centers to take quick action by consulting the GMC team. A STEMI case requires surgical procedures to restore normal blood flow and thrombolytic drugs can help stabilize a patient, allowing them precious time to be transferred for the surgery. The periphery center administer thrombolysis after consulting with the doctors at the GMC. The patient is arranged to be transferred to the main center after getting thrombolysis. A call is made for a cardiac ambulance, provided in this case by the GVK EMRI, country's largest emergency response service. The app also provides live tracking of the ambulance. The patient arrives at the main center and is taken to the cath lab for surgical procedures like angioplasty. The whole process tries to minimize the door to balloon time as much as possible. In Walpoi, one of the 12 health centers covered under the project, the life of 75-year-old Sandeep Gaukar was saved because of timely diagnosis and treatment. February, 
त्याच्याकडे गेलो आणि त्याला दाखवलं लर्निंग अबाउट हिज कंप्लेंट्स डॉक्टर रीमा अँड अ टीम इमीडिएटली टुक द ईसीजी रीडिंग्स The report was generated within minutes and was shared with the GMC team. A STEMI case was confirmed and thrombolysis was administered. Maga amnalali matso rest kar ani tya paryanta teni eki vehicle ki tajvid keli pan je utpa ji maka injection phukat dile eshi tet dar injection badarat ghewpa gelo tala 35000 rupaye patta ashile. Mr Gaunker was given thrombolysis in under an hour of his arrival and transferred to the GMC by another 45 minutes. So no patient has to be half an hour or more away from these centers. They are within half an hour they can get to this center once they are there in less than half an hour in most cases 15 20 minutes they can be treated with a thrombolytic drug. And I think this is going to save thousands of lives um, every year and this system I think can be replicated elsewhere can be replicated in any geographic area with adaptations to that area we cannot right away at least imitate the systems of care that exist in western countries because we have our limitations in terms of manpower resources finances infrastructure so we have to efficiently make use of our resources and yet save lives char divas baraya bashan treatment zali ani majhya shatit dukha je पेनिंग वगैरे सगळे बंद झाले आणि आजपर्यंत सगळे हे ट्रीटमेंट फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट झालेले असा आणि गव्हर्मेंटान आमच्यावर हे मोठे उपकार केलेले असा त्याबद्दल गव्हर्मेंट आणि डॉक्टर रेमा यांचे हा आभारी असा दिस प्रोग्राम कॉल द स्टेमी गोवा प्रोग्राम इज अ ग्रेट सक्सेस अँड देर आर सेव्हरल स्टेट्स नाव लुकिंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस दिस टाईप ऑफ प्रोग्राम इन डिफरंट पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया वेअर द डिस्टन्स इज आ लार्ज the whole idea is today with the science and progress of technological developments advancement utilization of artificial intelligence in healthcare you are able to save a person's life so whole idea is to stabilize him and transport him to the closest center of intervention with nearly 1600 abnormal ecgs and 90 stemi cases detected in a few months the goa stemi project has been very effective in helping clinicians save lives